So by popular demand, many people are asking me to do a cooking video. So I have a half a zucchini fresh from the garden, some basil fresh from the garden, some sage from my garden, and some hot and spicy oregano. Now if you don't know what this stuff is, you should find it. This stuff bites back and it's pretty impressive and it freshens your mouth forever afterwards. I love this stuff. I'm going to keep this stuff in the car for emergency uh, situations when I need a breath freshener. Got some baby onions and some ta tomatoes from the garden. I've got some uh, chicken and I've got some cheese here. I uh, milked the chickens yesterday to get some cheese. So I've got some fresh cheese and some spices here that's not from my garden. And I'm going to make myself a very nice meal on the Silver Fire Hunter survival stove. So let me get these things marinating in their proper sauces. I'm going to have, now these are actually ends from the deli, cheese ends. And what I'm about to do is make myself a tomato, onion, and basil salad with some cheese on top. I don't have you get what you ask, or you get what they have, I should say, on the cheese ends. I don't have a fridge, so I just I get what I can af can eat in a day. So I'm going to get these things marinating here. Well, for those of you who are not aware, what in, what in my background or behind me here is my tiny house on wheels that I'm building. So, all right, I've got a plate freshly washed, so it's all wet. And I'm going to get my tomatoes marinating here. Well, they're still warm from the sun. I just pulled these out of the sun. Still nice and warm. I don't have the best knife for this. I got my Leatherman. It's even better. I keep saying Leatherman needs to pay me one day for doing these commercials for them. I'm always showing the Leatherman. One of my favorite tools is the Leatherman. It's always at my side. Weird? It's a walking piece of fluff. The forest has many surprises in it. Never know what you're going to find. That was a walking piece of fluff. I have no idea what that was. Strange. Oh, vine ripened tomatoes. There's whew, nothing better. No, the flavor and color, texture of a vine ripened tomato. Can't find anything like it in the grocery stores, I'll tell you that. So the idea is I'm going to get these out on a plate here. Switch knives for a second. See if this one cuts. Yeah. Get the pretty little circle cuts on this one. Now I've got to go wash my onions and chop them up. I'll break up my basil over here. I know normally you just throw on a leaf hole here and there, but I want them broke up a bit. Distribute the flavor. Alright, I'll go wash my onions and I'll be right back. Chickens will love me after this. They get all the scraps. So, fresh garden onions, baby onions. I'm going to go this way.
Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that looks good already. Nice. Still got to drizzle on some oil. Sprinkle on some salt and pepper. It's starting to rain on me, so my meal may be interrupted slightly. I might have to come back. It rains here often, but not much at one time. It's not supposed to rain till 7 p.m., so I don't know what's up with that. Hopefully, it's not really going to rain on me now. this instead of just gushing it let me see uh, whatever a little bit of oil on them tomatoes all right well I'll let that sit oh I forgot to put the cheese on yeah can't forget the cheese oh but look at that I gotta show you that that looks beautiful Look at that. That looks amazing. Do my camera here. Look at that salad right now. That's incredible. The cheese is going to make it look off, but hey, whatever. Now, I don't have mozzarella. I don't know what I got here, so I'll put on what I've got. I'll be happy I've got it. it smells good. I love cheese. I don't know what that is, but hey, it looks good to me. Yeah, look at that. Mm. I'll let that sit aside for a while and stir up the juices. I do believe I'm going to get interrupted by some rain here. Hope it doesn't get too bad. Put that aside. Might have to run that indoors for now. Now these are for the chicken. Right, where are they all? There they are. Got some sage and some spicy oregano. No, I'm going to marinate the chicken. I'm going to have to get another plate. I'm going to marinate the chicken in some special juices while I work here. All natural garden fresh ingredients. All right, I'm going to pause the camera and go get another plate and take the uh, tomato tomatoes in. Well, it's raining on me, but not too hard, so I can live with it for now. All right, I'm going to take my sage. Again, I'm going to break it up a little bit. Put it on there. My garden sage. I want a couple underneath as well. A little bit of salt and pepper. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a chef or a cook. I'm just making this up as I go along. 
Always got to add my special do-it-yourself world disclaimers to all of my videos. And a little hot and spicy stuff on there. Oh, it's amazing stuff. I don't know what it's like cooked. I do it, only just got this, so no idea what it's going to be like cooked. It's this uh, hot and spicy oregano. It's almost got a chili-like taste. I figured it'd be good with the chicken. All right. So that, actually I'm going to drizzle a little bit of oil on both of them. Alright, I'm going to take the chicken in. I'm going to give you a good close up of that before I take it away. Got the chicken marinating. See? Nice. Pretty. I'll take that in out of the rain so it doesn't get washed out on me. And then I'll get my fire going. My biomass material today is splinters and pieces of broken pallet wood which I will be putting in the Silver Fire Hunter. That's going to be my fuel today. Any sort of biomass material. If it burns, you can probably cook with it in this stove. Right, I'm going to get a few more pieces. I'm going to fill this up a little bit and uh, get something to start the fire with. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I've got the Silver Fire Hunter stove started up. Now, another little important disclaimer. I use only heat treated pallet wood for cooking or for heating purposes. Never use chemically treated wood for anything. Uh, never burn chemically treated wood. Only heat treated. If it has a big HT stamped on the side of the pallet, then you're good and safe. So just a little important disclaimer, never use chemically treated wood in your cooking. So I've got the uh, Silver Fire Hunter survival stove heating up. I've got the chicken marinating off to the side. The rain has gone away for now. And it uh, looks like I'm going to be eating a nice meal pretty soon here. So I'm going to let that heat up. It takes between five to eight minutes for that to heat up. Just because you have flames coming out the top does not mean it's ready. You wait for that stove to heat up throughout nicely and then you can start cooking on that. The temptation is to start cooking on it right away when the flames are rising that high, but this stove works at its best once it's been warmed up. So I'll let that go for a while. My stove is heated up nicely. So I've got my chicken here and I've chopped up my zucchini and I'm going to throw on the rest of the onions. I've got a bunch of zucchini growing in the garden so I've got to use them up. So that's why I, uh, I'm using zucchini all over the place recently. A little bit of oil in there. Now I'm going to throw the chicken on there first because once I put that up on that top of that stove it gets really hot and I'll burn the oil if there's nothing in there so I'm going to flip them over and put some seasonings on the other side as well Can I scoop it up Stove is really going nicely. Close it down a bit. You can control the heat of the cooking with the damper on the front of this stove to some extent. Whoa!
All right, now listen to the sizzle when I pop it up there. It's gonna start to cook really quick. It's starting to smoke already, I don't know if you see it. There comes the sizzling. It does not take long to heat that up. That is amazing. This combination is incredible. This wok with this Silver Fire Hunter stove, they were meant to be. You can hear that cooking. Wow, that's cooking. All right, I'm gonna throw my zucchini on there so it gets cooked up nice and neat around the edges. I'm just gonna absorb the flavor of that meat as it cooks. Oh, that smells good. Wow. Oh, that smells good. Pop a couple of onions across the top. Wow, look at that steam. Let me see if I can give you a view of that. I don't know if you can see through all the steam. Look at that, oh. Can you see that? Oh, sorry, it's steaming a lot. I might have to move the camera. Oh, I need a shot of water in there. Need a little bit of water, I'll be right back. Well, what do you think? Well, that I just put the water in there, cold water, and it's boiling right now. This is one fast stove. Really good. Well, Oh, that smells good. I wish you could smell that. Look at that steam rising up. Nice. All right, well, I'm going to cook up my meal. I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Well, I hope the bear is nowhere nearby. That's going to attract some attention. Oh, it's cooking nice. Look at that. I gotta keep adding water because this is some really lean meat. There's not much fat in there. So I gotta keep adding water to it as I cook so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. This is a very, very hot cooking stove. So you gotta be careful. It takes some getting used to when you first start out, but oh, it's amazing. My meat was way too lean, so I added some more water and I put a cast iron lid on top of my wok to keep the juices in it was starting to burn on the, uh, the bottom really quickly so I'll let that cook the chicken through like this and when it's done then I'll open it up and let the moisture evaporate off but it's doing a good job of that look at it steaming oh you should smell this stuff so just a little bit longer and I'll have a nice lunch well there's my Meal cooked on a Silver Fire Hunter using chunks of old pallet wood to cook with. Just scrap junk. It was useless for anything else, but it was perfect for cooking with. Mmm. turned out pretty well. Adding the water helped retain moisture. Really made a difference. Mm. Well this is going to be a good meal. Perfect. Really nice. 
everything fresh out of the garden, zucchini, tomatoes, herbs, very good. Mmm. Oh, very nice.